Look what I've got. I've got some Jerusalem artichoke tubers, tubers of eBay. I bought them because they're not that easy to buy out this way, out in the country. Easy to buy in places like Sydney. But anyway, I'm going to just plant these all around my forest in places that get water. And in summertime, they're going to give us beautiful sunflowers. Well, tiny little sunflowers they have. Very attractive plants. They can't grow, they do grow, uh, become like weeds in wetter climates, but since it's so hot and dry out here, well, they'll only grow where there's water, so I can actually have them growing where I want them. And they're going to be beautiful. Of course, you can eat the tubers. You can. They're a vegetable. Of course, some people say they give them wind. It gives them wind, but um, yes, it all depends on the person, I suppose. They certainly taste all right uh, baked. You can cook them in other ways, but anyway, I'm concentrating on them as a beautiful wildflower. And come summer, I'll show you what they look like in my garden when it's got all these tiny little baby sunflowers in it from the uh, Jerusalem artichokes. They're not really from Jerusalem. They were eaten by the American Indians. They're from North America. They were called Juruso artichokes in Italy or something, and the name Juruso sort of sl slowly became uh, Jerusalem, but they're not from Jerusalem. They're from North America, and hummingbirds will actually... Um, will fly up to them and get the honey out of them, but we don't have hummingbirds in Australia. Anyway, I look forward to beautiful Jerusalem artichokes and I will show you them once they start blooming in some month's time. It's winter now, they'll be sleeping until spring, they'll come up in spring and we should have some beautiful sun, uh, wee baby sunflowers from Jerusalem artichokes by late spring, early summer. See ya!